Once upon a time, in a small village in South America, there was a young couple named Isabel and Carlos. Although they couldn't have children, they were deeply in love and their love was so strong that it transcended the boundaries of space and time. Every time when Isabel and Carlos fell asleep, their soul left their bodies and traveled to this other dimension, one that they felt like a dream, but it was actually real, at least to them. In this dimension, the two could explore without boundaries and without consequence. They could explore the stars, the galaxies, and even the depths of the sea. They could do things they couldn't do in their own world, like fly or breathe underwater. But there was one thing they couldn't do in this or the other dimension, to have children. It seemed that no matter how hard they tried, they could not create life in this place. They would try to create things out of thin air, but it would always dissipate before it could take form. This deeply saddened them because all they wanted was to start a family. But it seemed that it was not meant to be. Still, Isabel and Carlos continued to explore this other dimension every night. They visited faraway lands that only existed in their dreams and discovered new things about themselves and each other. One night, they stumbled upon a magical tree with golden apples that glowed in the moonlight. The two were mesmerized by its beauty and decided to take one of the apples home with them as a keepsake. When they awoke in the morning, the apple was still with them but it had changed form. It was now a beautiful baby girl with golden hair and eyes like sapphires. They named her Elena and raised her as their own. Though she was still part of the other dimension, she had become part of their world as well. Isabel and Carlos loved Elena as if she was their own child and watched over her as she grew up. Though she aged quickly, she developed her own personality and abilities that made her special and unique. Eventually, she was able to travel back and forth between both dimensions on her own, exploring the world around her and learning more about herself. One day, when Elena was exploring the other dimension, she discovered something that changed everything. She found a tree with apples that glowed in the moonlight, the same tree her parents had found years ago. She realized that this was how her parents had created her and that if she were to take one of the apples for herself, she too could have a child of her own. Elena took an apple from the tree and when she returned home, she showed it to her parents. They were hesitant at first, but eventually agreed to let her keep it at home with her. When she fell asleep that night, the apple transformed into a beautiful baby boy with golden hair and eyes like sapphires, just like Elena had been before. Elena named him Hector and raised him in a different dimension. As Hector grew fast, he became more and more like Elena, he had her adventurous spirit and her curious nature. As Hector grew older, he and Elena would often go on adventures together. They would explore different universes and they would always find something new and exciting to discover. They would often talk about the apple that had transformed Hector and how it was a magical and mysterious thing. One day, when Hector was a young man, he and Elena decided to go back to the dimension with the forest where Elena had found the apple. They wanted to find out more about the magic that had brought Hector into the world. As they walked through the forest, they came across a clearing and in the center of the clearing was an old gnarled tree. Elena recognized the tree immediately. It was the same tree that she had taken the apple from years ago. As they approached the tree, 
they noticed that there was a small golden apple hanging from one of its branches. Hector and Elena looked at each other, they knew that this was the apple that had brought Hector into the world. Hector reached out to take the apple, but before he could touch it, the tree spoke to him. Hector, my child, the tree said, you are brought into this world by the magic of this apple, but you are not just a product of magic, you are a product of love. Hector and Elena were amazed, they had never heard the tree speak before. But what does that mean? Hector asked. The tree replied, it means that the love of your parents, Elena and her parents, is what gave you life and made you who you are. It is that love that will guide you through all your days. The tree continued. Remember this, love is the approximation function of meaning, love is the means by which we can understand and give meaning to our lives. Love is not a precise or definite explanation, but rather a close estimation or representation of meaning. Love is not a fixed or absolute concept but rather it is something that can be understood and experienced differently by different entities. Love is a complex emotion and it can be hard to define to you to fully understand it. Love gives meaning to our lives. It is not a definite explanation, but it is a representation of something that is important to us. Love helps us to understand and make sense of our lives and it gives us a sense of purpose and fulf fulfillment. It is a powerful emotion that can change the way we see reality and the way we see ourselves. Hector and Elena understood what the tree was saying and they knew that it was true. As Diego and Elena looked up close to the tree bark, they began to notice that the tree was not just any ordinary tree. They saw that the tree was made up of repeating patterns and geometrical shapes and they realized that it was an infinite repetition of patterns that created the tree bark and the leaves on the branches. Diego and Elena were mesmerized by the tree and they decided to study it further. They spent a few minutes studying the tree's fractal patterns and they were amazed by what they discovered. They discovered that the tree was not just a fractal of the forest, but it was a fractal of all creation. The tree's fractal patterns were connected to the patterns found in everything, from the tiniest atom to the largest galaxy. The tree was a reflection of the interconnectedness of all things and it was a reminder that everything in the universe was connected. Diego and Elena realized that the tree was a symbol of the power of love. Just as the tree's fractal patterns were connected to all creation, so too was their love connected to everything. They understood that their love was not just a personal connection, but it was a universal connection that transcended space and time. They realized that the tree was the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe and that their love was the key to unlocking the secrets of the tree. They knew that the tree and their love were connected in ways that they could not fully understand, but that it was a mystery that they would spend their whole lives exploring. As they looked at each other, they held hands and slowly touched the tree. They felt a strange energy flowing through their bodies. Suddenly, they felt themselves becoming one with the tree and their bodies dissipate into light. A 
As Isabel and Carlos woke up from their deep sleep, Isabel noticed that she was feeling a bit strange. She couldn't quite put her fingers on what was wrong, but she knew that something was different. Carlos noticed that she was feeling unwell and asked her what was wrong. Isabel told him that she wasn't sure, but that she had a strange feeling in her stomach. Carlos suggested that they go to the doctor to get checked out. Isabel agreed and they made an appointment for the next day. The next day, at the doctor's office, Isabel found out that she was pregnant. Isabel and Carlos were shocked. They had not expected to have a baby. The doctor said that the next checkup would be in a few weeks and that they could maybe also reveal the gender. Isabel said, That won't be necessary. I already know it and I also know that I have twins. The doctor was surprised and asked, How do you know that? Isabel answered, I dreamed it into reality. In the present world, Isabel and Carlos were now able to experience parenthood, but they had no more access to the other dimensions. By accepting the love, they closed the transcendental portal.